we are back with another case study. And this is probably one of my favorite case studies. Dylan works with Rethink Academy, one of my earliest clients, but also probably our, one of our largest clients. I think they're between 12 to 14 VAs, somewhere in that region. And Dylan has been part of departments that have actually hired the, the VAs in. And he actually gets to work with one of our most senior most VAs, who's actually now sitting at the leadership level um, of the company as well. So Dylan, first of all, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and kind of sharing your case study. So let's just start with Rethink Academy. What, who and what is Rethink Academy? Hey, Bijal, thanks for having me on here. Yeah, first and foremost, Rethink Academy is the world number one online certified educator for new and growing business entrepreneurs. So what sets Rethink apart from everybody else is really that the academy and the training are all built around you as a person and your personality profile. So you get the most out of learning from the business the business world, if I can put it that way. Yeah, that's what I really love about Rethink's approach, is basically, rather than just saying, hey, this is our system and you have to fit into our system, is that they look at the individual, the experience, their personality, and they build a system around that. So they have a system for building a system for a system of success. And let's put it that way. Okay, very good. And what is your role in the company? Yes, currently my role is event manager and partnerships, head of partnerships and events. I started with Rethink nearly five, six years ago, and I headed up the customer service team and built that out to a very good success level using your VAs, obviously, who were my backbone and support team back then. And they are just as much a part of what I am currently creating and building in the events and partnership side of the business. All right, so let's go back. Let me take you back circa four years, maybe a little bit more at this point, to pre-VAs being part of the company. Just so give us an understanding of where the company was, the challenges they were having, and especially in the help center side of things. And not that it was terrible, but uh, there were definitely some issues that the VAs were able to come in and, and help rectify. But I'll, I'll, rather than me speak, because I, I do know the story, but I'll have you share some of those challenges that you were dealing with. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. It's a scary thought to think about it back then and how much it's grown since then. But back then, I think before VAs were really be part of our team. The team that was existing and currently supporting the business were quite overwhelmed. I can speak to the, the first time response rates in the customer service center being sky high, almost 18 to 24 hours to get a response for any client questions. The team just being swamped by hundreds and hundreds of tickets every single day and actually just not making a dance in them because they were just trying to almost catch up and always being reactive. When we introduced the VAs was the first start where we saw some normality start to happen and some real shift in the team, the existing team's energy level, the amount of support we managed to pull together and get through all of the daily workloads, the first time response rate went down to less than two hours. I actually think they were closer to half an hour realistically, but they were less than two hours very consistently. And the immediate spike that we saw in all of our statistics was obviously the satisfaction rating. The satisfaction rating skyrocketed to over 94% consistently and over a year yearly basis actually finished on a 96% from what it was to where it was 67 50 percent at most so a lot of unhappy clients a lot of stress a lot of, within the team but just phenomenal shifts and changes from having the vas help out all those years ago you no know, it's funny where you can take a client who maybe just annoyed at one thing but not hearing back in time will make them annoyed at something that was never the initial problem in the first place right now they're just annoyed that no one's getting back to them so response rate is very critical to maintain customer happiness um, as, as we've seen so dylan i think rethink probably has more vas in more different roles than any other company at this point in time so give us a rundown of the integration of VAs in Rethink overall right now? Yeah, as far as integration into our team, they are a core part of our team. They actually make up most of our team members because of their work ethic, their efficiency, their attitude towards the work is phenomenal. It's second to none. They definitely create a higher energy within the business, which makes it a fun environment for everyone to work in, from junior levels to senior levels and management levels as well. It's literally a great place to be and they are part of our everyday work they fulfill our customer service or responding to tickets qualification calls for workshops and events the marketing functions that they play on building pages 
helping put together websites, copywriting, video editing, running the event. <laughs> it's no small feat when you have to run a, a four day webinar over two different time zones and you've got multiple speakers, multiple videos, and they've been a core part of this and they're actually what makes the clock tick. They are the beating soul of the business. I honestly think it's integral to have them across all parts of the business and they've integrated so well where they have just become an extension of us. They've really become an extension of who we are as a business and their goal and dream is to also see that your client is successful. So this is something that stood out for me for the many years that we worked with obviously you, Vigel, and the VA team that they put the client's need first and it doesn't matter what they're doing. Time is never an option or an issue. Uh, they go above and beyond on actually delivering the results. The results have been key for us. Uh, in terms of having teams built out around VAs, they are very much the doing part of our uh, business where they fulfill core functions in actually doing the day-to-day -day work, which gives us a more senior overall look at the business and maybe may basically help uh, planning, us with the planning of the business. Awesome. All right, so let me just re reflect back on you and make sure I could capture everything here. So obviously customer service, we've got the help center answering tickets and emails that, that come through. We've got them integrated into what we call the customer experience or customer journey. So basically once they become a customer, making sure that they get their assets delivered, they they are invited to then the upcoming webinars and workshops. They take care of the day-to-day -day admin level of that. They're making phone calls to make sure that they show up for these events that they've already paid for. They support the actual event themselves. Then they also support the admin of the coaching, right? So we have a team of coaches who, can you, as you can imagine, do not like to do admin level of coaching, which why would they? But again, the VAs are doing all the admin level, sending out the invites, sending up the meetings, downloading Zoom calls, uploading Zoom calls, all of that's handled by the VAs. And then we have the VAs actually as part of the marketing team, actually setting up funnels, web pages, email sequences. And really, as you said, they're across the board. And the key thing here is what that means is yeah. that the next level up team, right? The managers can focus on strategy and the bigger picture of the company and really driving the, the, the growth um, of the company moving forward. Because if you were doing that admin level work, not the best use of your time, your days would probably extend to 16, 17 hours per day. And we just would not be an efficient, as efficient a company as we are currently. Is that kind of a good summation of, of what? Absolutely a spot on summary. I think AI is great, but the VAs are personal. Yeah. But in tournament, and it doesn't mean that we don't look at integrating AI into the company. It's just that the AI still, into VAs and the AI work very close hand uh, in terms of the optimization of how we do things. And again, just given the size of the VA team in at Reasoning Academy, if we were going through a regular agency, let me put this way, the savings are about $120,000 per year for the size of team that Rethink have. So that's basically because of our unique model, the company overall with 10 to 14 active VAs, again, numbers up and down depending on the campaigns we're working on, but the annual savings probably around over $100,000, I think it's close to $120,000. So that's not only a saving, but a enhancement uh, to the company as well. Now, one more thing, you're unique as a company because one of our VAs actually sits at the leadership level. So can you just walk me through when that happened, why that happened and what value that VA is having, the VA's name is Shawina, is having on the company by having her at that level of the leadership? Yeah, so Shawina has been my right hand since I headed up the customer service team. She also helps me with my event and helps me onboard those new customers. So she plays a very integral role in events as well. And this is something where our relationship, our working relationship has grown. She's always going the extra mile to support me and having her on the leadership side as well as the in within the team itself uh, just provides a great insight as to how the team are feeling as well as the energy levels any good feedback that we can share celebrate or anything that we actually going to look at improving so great balance and great dynamic that she plays within the team but her services are pretty incredible that she is of that experience and that level where she sits across both boards but it's 
phenomenal having Chowina as part of our team. And even though I've been using the word VA because we talk about the, the VAs in the book, because that's what the people hear that they hear from other gurus, we don't really refer to them as VAs. They're basically just our Philippines team, right? We don't distinguish between, oh, they're the VAs. It's that they are just the Philippine team and they're integrated in every aspect of, of the business at this point. Absolutely, yeah, the Filipino team. Yes, you are 100% right. Great. <laughs> hey, Dylan, thank you so much for kind of sharing your insights with us. And for those of you watching, if you're scaling, growing your team, please think about how can you integrate VAs as, we, as we've as we been talking about. But again, just remote workers, remote teams, we call them vital assistants because the work they do is vital. Think about your divisions of marketing, social media, sales support, event management, customer management, customer success, customer support, or IT support across the board, VAs, as we say, can be an integral part of your future success. Dylan, thank you so much for uh, being on the case study. Thanks very much, Bijal. Chat right. soon. Bye for now. Awesome.